political scene, there's a new publication out, and uh, I constantly, you know, I've been reading it, and they cite sources. They cover individuals. Uh, they'll remain nameless because I'm, I mean, I'm not, you know, pro this, pro that, or whatever, until I hit the, the polls when I'm voting or, you know, any current event. This publication, uh, the Niagara Chronicle, uh, you know, it's pretty well written. They cite things. However, you being a journalist for how many years now? Three, four years now? Yeah, yeah, about there between interning and working yeah. for a real publication four years. Wouldn't you want to put your name on something after you wrote it? Yeah, there's quite... Even if it's medium to good... Yeah, yeah, it's 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 quite an uh, not to sound uh, corny, for lack of a better term, but it's quite an honor to have your byline out there. I mean, here's here's the here's the things that stood out here. We are, if you look in the second entry of the Niagara Chronicle, here's the uh, intro to it. We are a group of individuals, no professional writers here in parentheses, that are dedicated to providing an alternative perspective on the news and the independent commentary from the co coffee shop of Niagara Falls in Niagara County, pardon me, Niagara County. Who are you? <laughs> Doesn't say who you are. Article, introductory, here I am, at a communi community organization gathering, all smiles as I await to meet the planned speaker of the evening. Something regarding a firm handshake. Well written. Who is I? Who are you? There is no nothing. Editor's note. Stop right there. That's from another article from January 7, 2016. Who's the editor? You write all this stuff, you have a YouTube page, too, for YouTube page. Uh, slanting, I'm going to go with the slant because this is more of like a, I'm not slamming, this is more of like a slant type of thing in which this publication does. The Niagara Chronicle is committed to provide in-depth political coverage of the political races throughout Niagara County. Editor's note, who's the editor? Don't see it on there. I mean... You write all this stuff, but you don't, you, you just don't. Put your name on it. You just don't do it, man. I mean, really. The Chronicle believes that person remains nameless. Lack of response directly contradicts his founda the foundation of his campaign promise of cleaning up corruption. Who wrote it? Put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. I, again, I'm... I'm just, I, I'm going through this thing and I'm getting, you know, it, you just, you're just sitting there behind a curtain and you're expecting this to be credible information and it isn't because you didn't put your name on it. Here's another article introduction. In the introductory paragraph, I'm going to read this from January 26, 2016. I am sure he had his reasons for supporting the powerful senator. However, I would wager that th at the time, and I'm going to leave an ellipses at the end of that. Who are you? <laughs> because there's no no ending of it. I mean, put your name on. It. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. I just I don't I don't get it. And and the, to conclude, this one's from March 29, 2016. What we uncovered is truly shocking. Who are we? Put your name on it. Niagara Chronicle, if you want any credibility, who the editor is or who your volunteers are, and don't play this anonymous game with me. And don't take the um, anonymous and even, like, take it into the brand. They are an organization, anonymous political organization. That is their brand name. That is what they do. They're on YouTube and all sorts of social media. They have a duty. You need to put your name on it when you're in Western New York and you're producing any sort of spin toward any government official, whoever's in office, because if you don't put your name on it, it's not credi credible and people are just going to say, hey man, well, I mean, you're just looking like a curmudgeon or curmudgeonette, whoever you are that's writing it. I mean, the bottom line is, if you don't... Put your name on it! It's not credible, and that's all.